Hi, it's Michelle, and I'm going to do the It's Finally Fall Tag. And I'm really excited about this. I've got three or four different tags for fall, and I'm not going to do them on any particular day, just whenever I have a chance to do them. But I am so excited. The fall and the winter, that's my favorite time of year. It's just a very magical, special time of year for me. <sighs> And I'm, I'm just so happy that it's finally fall. It's starting to cool off. It's not quite hitting 100 anymore every day here. It, it's it been like 91 as a high. Or I think right now it's 88 degrees out or something. Which to me is great. And in another week or two it'll be in the 70s. And then before I know it I'll start needing a sweater. And I love sweater, sweater weather. <laughs> sweater weather. But I am at the point where like, I'm feeling like I need to get out my, my little fuzzy slippers because my feet are getting cold, <laughs> which is great. Anyway, so I'm going to get to the tag here. And yes, this is a 7-Eleven Slurpee. Do you like Slurpees? I love them. This one is, I think it's Pina Colada. Yeah, it's Pina Colada. Brad gets these for me. He's got this little thing where he likes to pick up Slurpees for me, and I'm not complaining. I just think they're wonderful. If you like Slurpees, let me know what your favorite flavor is down in the comment section. I, I really want to know. <laughs> okay, number one. What book always reminds you of fall or autumn? Ooh, always? Like every single year? Whoa. Uh... I don't know if I have it here with me. Oh, I do. To Kill a Mockingbird. My brother got me this book for my 13th birthday. Not this exact one. I had a crazy ex who, I don't know what he did with him, but when we split up, he took all of my favorite books. Who does that? Anyway, so I had to replace all of my favorite books. And this is one of the ones I had to replace, which is so sad because he had wrote something really sweet for my birthday on the inside page and everything. And I'll never have that back. Anyway, it's weird how mean some people can be. But I, I got this for my birthday, which is at the end of May. But there's something about this book that to me has a very strong fall feeling to it. My One of my favorite characters of all time is Scout. And I just love reading about her experiences during the summer and when she's going back to school. And it's just a really good book. Number two, what is your favorite autumnal book cover? Okay, my, my fav favorite, favorite, favorite one. I think I said this last year too, but I love this book cover. I just think it's so, isn't that great? What more could you want? You've got a dog, you've got pumpkins, you've got a crow, you've got a beautiful brick house with windows that are lit up. It's, it's great, right? And this is The Diva Haunts the House by Krista Davis. It's part of her Domestic Diva mystery series, which is these theories that got me into cozy mysteries. <laughs> so it'll always have a special place in my heart and it'll probably always be in my heart, my favorite cozy mystery series, just because it was the original one. What is your favorite autumnal, autumnal drink to read with? This year so far, I mean, autumn did just start. What I'm really loving is at night, I like to drink, um, uh, a mug of tea before I go to bed at night. Hi, Marty. And uh, my favorite flavor so far this autumn is is this one. It's a uh, organic peppermint tea by Charles Jackwin. Yakwin. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I really like this stuff. I think it's really delicious. So if you like peppermint tea, I definitely recommend this. I do have some straight out fall teas, but they have 
caffeine in them and I haven't been drinking tea during the day yet. I usually wait till it cools down a little bit more. Do you prefer to read late at night or early in the morning? <laughs> Both. What is this? <laughs> Do I prefer? Ooh, I love reading late at night. I love it when a book is so good it keeps me up half the night. Hence my page name, Books Cause Insomnia. But but I like reading in the morning too. There's there's something really nice about reading with my coffee and I I love it because we get up really early in the morning. Usually five thirty. And if I start reading it's around six or six thirty if it's a slow morning at work. And it's just kind of nice because the whole world is still quiet. I'm not hearing all the hustling and bustling sounds of living in a city. Not yet. Number five, Halloween is coming. What is your favorite spooky read? Favorite spooky read? Um, there's a Darcy Coates book that I really like that I read last fall that I thought was a really fun spooky read. Um, I also liked Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I haven't really read any spooky reads yet. Nothing haunted, per se. Not, not yet this year, but I'm definitely getting in that mood. Number six, what is the ultimate comfort read for you? I would have to say when it comes to my favorite comfort read, it would probably be a, any Krista Davis book, which I had just mentioned her, oh, here it is. When I was talking about this book, this whole series, there's something about it that's just so super comforting to me. I would have to say this whole series, any book. I've read them all multiple times and I plan on reading them all multiple times again throughout my life, but they're just, the main character, she spends a lot of time cooking, which I find super cathartic and healing and very cozy. And she just has this lifestyle that I love. She's got this nice cozy house and she's got a cat and a dog and neighbors that are her friends and that kind of stuff. And it's just so wonderful. So I would have to say this whole series. <laughs> for me. Number seven, what is your favorite autumnal reading snack? Favorite day pumpkin cheesecake sandwich cookies. Oh, these are really good. And these are, I think they're only sold at Target. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I favorite day. Is that a Target brand? That's where I got them. If you want to try them, but they're so good. Number eight, what is your favorite autumnal candle to burn whilst reading? Well, actually, I'm almost done with it. The Crisp Morning Air by Bath & Body Works. I really like this stuff. I think it's really amazing. It's just, it smells, it does. It smells like a nice, crisp fall morning. But I'm about to move into a apple cider um, candle. And then I also just got... A vanilla candle so we'll see one of those might knock that one out of the park number nine when you're not reading what is your favorite autumnal activity well my favorite activity to do in the autumn I like I really like going for walks and I love autumn and well even the winter I like it when it's not so hot because here in Vegas it's too hot to, for me in the summer to go walking when it's over a hundred like that, it's just, but, uh, anything outside, I love being out in nature after it's cooled off a little bit, but my favorite thing that Brad and I have done together, I just like going to like state fairs and stuff like that with him, riding on the rides, eating the, or drinking the hot apple cider, eating fritters or whatever. I just, I love that whole experience. In fact, I think this year we might go to one of the fairs, but we're also talking about going to um, a pumpkin patch, which I'm so excited about. And the newest Halloween movie comes out on 
October 15th, and we want to go see that in the theater. So super excited about Halloween this year. Number 10, what is on your autumn slash fall reading list? Um, what is on there? Um, the last house on Needless Street is on there. Um, there's another book. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> I wanted to read my favorite horror story. It's a bunch of short horror stories by some of the world's favorite horror authors. That'll be really fun to read. I want to revisit <laughs> Sweet Valley Twins and Friends, The Ghost in the Bell Tower. I loved this book as a teen girl. And then uh, Burn Town by Jennifer McMahon. Her books seem to always have somewhat of a ghost or being haunted by the past kind of feel. And I definitely want to read some spooky ghost stories. <laughs> And that's it. That's the whole tag. And one thing I really like about this tag, it doesn't ask me to tag anyone is the last question. Or if it did, I deleted it. I printed this out last year in the fall. So I could have just deleted it out. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I don't really have that many book related friends on here yet. So it's really hard for me to tag people because I can only think of a couple people that even do tag videos. So what I will say is if you want to do this video, go ahead and do it. Um, if you remember, please let me know so that I can watch the video because I, I love to watch, I love watching tag videos. So I would love to see what you do with this tag. And um, I guess that's all there is for this video. Be sure to tune in on Thursday. I will be doing a September reading wrap up. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be doing my October TBR video. And I will also be playing my card game where I pick out a few books to read. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Happy reading to you. I love you. Bye.